office hours today and in the office hours I did a demo um, of how to limit the impacts of an effect on specific layers but the recording did not work out uh, the way I had intended so instead of leaving the recorded conference via the conferences tab of my office hours I would like to record a really short video that I can share with you guys via the announcements tab so this week I received a question uh, via email from a student asking how do you limit layer effects from being applied to just one layer and I think they were also asking about adjustment layers because they mentioned levels and so by default any adjustment that you make only applies to the layer that can see the adjustment so for the layer effect if we let's ungroup this here if we grab a layer let's say layer 2 which is the green layer and we hit the FX button and apply any of the layer effects, um, it will by default only apply to the layer that you have selected. The only exception to this with layer effects is if there is a grouping. And so I have a grouping that includes the yellow, the pink, and the green layers. If I were to select the grouping itself and apply a layer effect, it will apply to all of the items within the grouping. But even then, you can still limit it to just the layer you want. So if we only wanted to apply a bevel and emboss to the yellow layer, we could hit FX and then choose bevel and emboss. And because I had selected just that layer one, the effect only applies to that. Now I think the student was more so asking about adjustment layers. So I have this document here and if we look at the layers, we can turn them off and you can see layer zero is a solid layer that has all four columns but the layer zero copy is missing the left hand side of the columns and I believe what uh, he was asking is if you apply an adjustment layer to this top layer so maybe a solid color layer and you intend to maybe change the blending mode to color how do you make it so it only makes the two columns on the right pink and not all of them because an adjustment layer will apply straight down and so in theory by default it only applies to one layer but if that layer has holes in it it will go through the holes to the layer below um, another example would be if you wanted to apply a levels adjustment maybe you want to darken the darks brighten the light to make the whole image just overall darker but what if you only wanted to make the two columns on the right darker, not the other two? Uh, because by default, these adjustments are applying to both the layers. The easiest way to do this is to clip them. I can clip this levels adjustment layer down onto the very next level by hitting Command Option G on a Mac. I believe that that is Control Alt G on a PC and it will clip the layer mask down so you can see that the levels adjustment that I created is only being applied to the right two columns. If we turn the background on, when it reappears, uh, the columns that are left in the background are still the original saturation. And so we can do that again. We can turn on the pink fill layer, Command Option G or Control Alt G on a PC, and it will clip downward. So it's clipped to the levels, which is clipped to layer zero. And so the adjustments we're making are only applying to the items that are on the right hand side of the screen, which happen to be the layer zero. So if layer zero had the left hand side, it would only apply to the left hand side of the image. Okay, that wraps up what I demoed in today's office hours. No one logged in, so I ended the office hours at about 3.15, 3.20. My next office hours will be uh, on Monday, June 15th. I'm going to do them from 8 to 9 a.m. Um, if you have any questions, log in and you can ask them during that time. I plan to go through everything you should be working on during week five of the semester, uh, but you can always log in if you have questions.